Hey kids, welcome to the Science Seeker Show. I think this is episode four. I'm going to try and post one of these each day just as a, you can see I'm still thriving as a great teacher and uh, loving my life and still teaching you guys. So every day we're going to have a little human contact before I set you off on your tasks. Today is all about painting. Mr. Pfeiffer's in his paint clothes. He's ready to rock. I just got my own spray paint gun because we're going to try and paint our fence today. So take a look. Got this nice little home kit here. Paint ready station. I don't know if you guys can see that. Awesome. So in my paint ready station, all right, I'm going to need white paint. I'm going to be painting all this lattice. This is all what I already did. See how nice and white and fresh it is? Whereas on the back here, not so fresh, very dirty. Everyone see that? Yeah, good to go. Okay, so for our project today, it's very important you guys keep yourselves busy and you do stuff besides play video games all day. So our project today, we're gonna need paint. Mr. Pfeiffer's gotten a paint. This is a good chemistry lesson right now. And it is a primer and painter together. Now it's important to note that if you are gonna paint or stain a fence, maybe your parents have one, something you can do. I'm gonna probably paint this old table too, to be honest with you, and spray paint the whole thing. So, if you are gonna paint or stain a fence, you should get the right kind of paint. This is a primer, you always wanna prime first, and paint put together. So in chemistry, they put both of the products together. Um, it is a satin finish, meaning that it won't have a super shiny gleam on it. And this is paint thinner. Now you buy this if you're gonna use a gun. The paint sprayer will spray the paint out, but it comes out pretty thick. So you wanna put a little thinner in there. So step one, we're gonna add this paint thinner, all right? If you guys like to do pour paints or fun little art projects, this is the kind of stuff you might wanna to buy too. It thins out the pigment inside of the paint so that the color kind of spreads out, but it still consists of um, the color that you want. It just goes on a little bit thinner. I'm gonna stir that in. I'm gonna pour some paint in here, right here. Hold on. And now we're ready. I'm gonna show you guys how the gun works. It's pretty cool. It's my new toy. Again, if you wanna do something fun, help your parents paint a fence. Go for it. My son was out here earlier, Thompson, and now he's taking a break, doing his homework. So, in my gun, here's the gun. It's attached to this hose. It's really cool, it works off suction. You're going to screw this thing. Oh, I just got you guys, hold on. I'll be back in a sec, I gotta put this on. So you're going to screw this onto the gun and then after this is screwed into the gun it'll create suction when I turn on. Now it's going to get loud in a minute but I want to show you how the paint sprayer works before I let you go on your lesson today. Okay. Here we go. This sucker sprays out and you want to turn it the way that you want to have it be painting so it's going to spray out this way or I can turn this this way. We're gonna go up and down, so I want a nice wide spray, and we're gonna spray up and down like this. Let's take a look at what this baby can do. Take my gun, bring it over here. Here's my dirty fence. Pull the trigger. Spray, spray goes up and down, see that? Up and down, up and down. Nice and slow, up and down. You can spray a whole lot of stuff this way. So, I'm gonna let you go. Have a good day with your lessons, kids. See you tomorrow.